Hello, hello. I got a mystery box here today, a witchy one by the name of Sugar Muses. I thought this was coming Monday and my mailman brought it early, so I'm really excited. I This is the February box, but I don't really even know the theme. Excuse me as I take a sip of my tea. You guys should do the same. Get a beverage. This could be a minute. But I think I saw on my feed somebody else did a video. I'll have to go back and look at their video once I do my video. <laughs> but uh, something about goddess, goddess uh, incantations or something like that. I don't know. But this is the size of the box. It just came. And let's take a little sneak peek. Yeah, goddess illumination. Okay, there we go. Goddess illumination. I'm on a little different spot today. I've been redoing my little meditation area. I'm kind of sitting on my little meditation cushion. And I'm looking out my window right now. It's just a really pretty time of day. So I thought that I'm doing unboxing. We could all do it together like this. Might be nice. It's been cold and I just really want spring, so I hope there's some energy, some spring energy in here. Oh, and I already can see what goddess they are referring to in their illumin illumination. Freya, look at that artwork. So we have Freya, which is the Norris goddess of love, fertility, abundance, which in what is that? Sire, wife to Odin. And then just talks about a little bit about her if you guys want to pause and read. I'm not going to read the whole thing. There you have it. And the colors are just really beautiful, like a pale, pale kind of pink, which I'm definitely vibing. I have to do my nails. Can I get it to sit like that? Yes. I have to do my nails. I apologize. They're not done, but I like to let them have a day in between polishes to just breathe sometimes. And today's the day where they're breathing. So it's an in-between time. Love me some hibiscus tea. That's what I'm drinking. A little infusion. <laughs> and then guess what? Happens to be the herb. That is funny. And look at those colors again. Just isn't that just everything right now? Maybe I'll do my nails that color, like that pale pink. Sorry about the airplane in the background. Um, but here we have hibiscus. Gender feminine, element water, planet is Venus, moon, names rose mallow, I didn't know that, flowers, where's that, powers, can't read, clairvoyance, lust, love, divination, so let's hold it up so you guys can read that if you want, I'm not going to read that right now. That is wonderful. Perfect. Just been sipping on some hibiscus, eating some chocolate, wanting the spring vibes. So next thing I see here is this cutie little oracle card. Looks like cute little moon stick. Try to save. I love the colors. I can just feel the flower blossoms coming my way. Yes, I was able to save it. Oh. Ooh, look at this really pretty card. This is Plumeria, which is also called Franchipani. Fran is that how you say it? Franchipani, 
you are truly beautiful on the inside and the outside. And that's the back. Very pretty deck. I'll definitely have to look into who the creator is of that. And we have this really beautiful tissue paper that has these birds on it. Then we have this beautiful rose botanical offering. And also our hibiscus. Just want to give these a little sniff. That's what the hibiscus looks like. Smells good. The rose. Very nice. Always happy to have these. Then we have some cutie little stickers. We have this one. Then we have a little, ooh, just what I need, some more dark chocolate. It says its ingredients are cacao paste, sugar, is cane sugar, cacao butter, and vanilla bean powder. Sounds freaking amazing. And then we have this pretty white, sachet with a little rose quartz heart which is very appropriate it's such a beautiful little heart so gentle and then we have this really cute little botanical that she probably made. I love it. It's a little bit fragile, but it did all right. It did all right in there. I just love the energy coming off of these. They're just so gentle and so feminine. Love. Looks like we have some incense here and the scent of jasmine. I am uh, melting, melting. <laughs> I melt. Well, I'm melting wax actually too. The scent of the wax is fairy kiss today. But I'm burning this incense now that I got from my other subscription box the nine of earth the, the moonlit forest which is kind of kind of has like that nang champa kind of thing going on then i was burning some rose incense earlier but maybe i'll put this one out and in the spirit of doing the floral for spring i will transfer over to the jasmine. Let's bring it on. Let's bring the spring. Let's bring spring. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I am just so ready for spring. Spring is my time. I am a spring baby. Where are all my Pisces at? Woo! Yeah, I got this lit, so... That right upset and get into the next thing. But real quick, you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight incense in here. Next we have the candle here, Freya. And it's I don't know if you can tell, but it's kind of like that pale pink again. 
Ooh, look at that. This one's solid. Beautiful pink color. Hmm, what is that? It's definitely some type of floral. I don't know if it's a mix of different flowers, but I think there might be some rose in there. We'll see if I'm correct. Maybe some jasmine. I could be wrong. But I see one big item that I'm going to save for it. The last thing, and then we have maybe her oil. I was secretly hoping for a spray, because I'm always into sprays, but that's okay. This one is the Love Song Oil. Look at that. She who muses has the best oils. Mm, and it kind of kind of smells like that candle. Let's put some on. Mm, that's really pretty. It's definitely got the floral vibes. There's something else in there. I can't put my my nose on it, but maybe like a there's something for fresh in there, like some fresh. Hmm. I don't know if it's citrus or ah, oh, it's gonna drive me nuts. Hopefully she tells us. Hopefully she tells us. I'm getting down to the to the end here. It's just yeah, it's like just one more thing, and then the big item. And this is the, the tissue paper. I'm going to save it. It's really cute. Got the little birds. Adorable. So now we have the love song. Ritual salts with rose petals, hibiscus, and sandalwood. So if that's what's in there, then that was... I was going to say hibiscus, but... It almost smelled citrusy. So let's give this a whiff and see if I can, if it smells exactly like the oil. Probably gonna use this this week. Valentine's Day coming up. Ooh, and it's this pretty pale pink back. I'm actually low on bath salts. This is good. Ooh, and look at that. She puts a little, oh my gosh, that's so cute. A little heart-shaped tea light candle all ready to go. Looks like there's a little maybe a rose petal in there. I'm going to make a mess and then my cat's going to come in here. But look how cute that is. Mm, yeah, and that is kind of similar to the oil. Let me do a side by side. We'll do a side by side. I put a little bit here. <laughs> yeah, they're similar, but the the salt um, smells a little bit sweeter for some reason to me. So we'll see. Oh, I was doing so good. I was doing so good. So sorry, Freya. We'll put you right back here. She doesn't want anything in front of her. <laughs> Which I wouldn't either. I understand. Okay. I will put that there. But yeah, we'll see once we get into the paperwork, what, if any difference on the two here, oil and the salt ritual blend, the love song. Ah, 
Sorry, I'm feeling a little bit silly right now. Silly on hibiscus. All right, now we have this guy, or shall I say, our lady. It's wrapped really well. And bubble, and then, oh, what do we have here? This says, wow, it's pretty heavy, too. Freya, it's all carved. Oh, lucky. That's gorgeous. Look at that. Wow. This feels like a force. I wonder what this is carved out of. Hmm. I really like that. I have to see what all the symbolism re represents. But I really like that. That's beautiful. I'm loving it. Loving it. So glad I got this box. Okay, let's get into the paperwork. I will try to get through it in a normal fashion. Oh, it's starting to get cold. Oh, no, we want spring. All right, we have the February spell energy work. This month we celebrate self-love and care along with the goddess Freya and what she represents. The story of goddess Freya. Freya is the goddess of love and fertility in the Norse mythology. And she is associated with blessings, lust, beauty, and sorcery. The name Freya means lady, and it can, for instance, also be spelled Freya. No, let me just show you guys. But that's all the different ways you would say Freya, Freya. I don't know if it's pronounced the same. That I do not know. It says Freya is a very important goddess in Norse mythology, probably more than people realize. She is, according to some, the highest of the Asungur, as, as I'm saying that wrong, Asyanja, the principal pathion in Norse mythology. And one could argue that her status is almost on par with Odin. Norse gods are divided into two subgroups, the Isur and the, the Vanor. The Freya and her family are part of the Vanor. It, it was Freya who taught magic old divine secrets of witchcraft and the runes. The Vanor were shapeshifters associated with magic, creative energy, the sea, prophecy, eroticism, then fertility, and shamanism. Freya loves to travel and she has various options to choose from. The most famous one is probably her chariot, pulled by two cats, possibly lynxes, and she also chose her cloak of falcon feathers from her wardrobe. This cloak is magical and it f allows her to fly anonymously through the skies. The essential oils associated with her are benzene, birch, cypress, myrrh, rose, and sandalwood. Offerings to Freya can include any of these items, along with her favorite foods. Ale, apples, barley, flowers, honey, and med. mead. Treating cats well is one way to pay homage to her. Did you hear that, Jerry? Jerry, where are you? <laughs> That's my cat. Either by feeding feral cats or adopting them as the goddess of love. She enjoys love poems and songs explaining her association with the month of February. Freya's personality type manifests in her compassionate nature, intuition, and strong sense of values. She is deeply introspective character who is driven by her desire to protect those she cares about and live a life that aligns with her beliefs. 
Of course, when we honor a goddess God, we are acknowledging and honoring those same aspects in ourselves. We hold a mirror up and see the traits of Freya and find independence, strength, determination within us just as we see it within her. The items in this month's box may be used in the order they are listed or used separately as you are called to do. They are curated to help inspire you on your journey. Metaphysical properties of items tools for this month's box are listed below. So it says whenever possible products are made from scratch in our shop and recycled materials are used to contribute to preserving our planet. All herbs, oils, teas are organic and made using family recipes. I love that. So we have the incense sticks, which I had going and I just see went out. I was afraid I didn't light it very well. So we'll give it another chance. And it says that our jasmine incense stick here is, it says, it says, this is what she wrote. Light a jasmine incense stick and let the cleansing smoke swirl around you and your space. Incense can be burned at the beginning of rituals, meditation or spells to cleanse your space and to set the intentions of your ritual. The smoke also charges your crystals altar and represents the element of air as well as fire. You get a two for one with it. And it smells really good now that it's lit. <laughs> it is said that when a spell is done, it raises the spell up into the ether. This blend is certified organic and vegan. The ancient magical properties of jasmine include love, meditation, relaxation, prophetic, prophetic dreaming, and confidence. Use in a fireproof incense holder. I actually made this incense holder today. I just drilled into the this stone and I made it. It was pretty cool. So this will be maybe Freya's incense burner. Now we have the rose quartz heart. And a uh, rose quartz is a cherished crystal. Carries profound symbolism associated with love, compassion, and emotional healing, making it a staple in the world of witchcraft and spirituality. Aligned with the heart chakra, rose quartz serves as a powerful magnet for love. Whether it's attracting romantic partners or fostering self-love and compassion. It's a versatile tool in enhancing the harmony of relationships and healing emotional wounds. Sorry, my heater just turned on the back. It's getting colder. How was your new moon, guys, by the way? I was curious. Bath salts, it tells you like a little ritual. Um, here. Bath salts with tea light created with Epsom salt, uh, dead sea salt, dried rose petal, hibiscus rose, and sandalwood oil. So that's what's in the salts. We'll have to compare that with the oil. So it says you need, you will need your gemstone heart, the bath salt ritual bag, match and a lighter. And then it tells you basically what to do there. I'm not gonna read all that. But the oil, the Love Song Perfume Oil is here. And then I'm gonna compare, hopefully she puts everything in there. Um, it says to anoint the oils are a very powerful meaning of dedicating yourself and your magical components with energies correspondent to your intent. This special blood contains Blend contains notes of bergamot, rose, sandalwood, benzoin in an organic almond oil base. Always perform a test patch before using. So yeah, it's, um, I guess got the difference because it has bergamot. 
I knew it smelled a little different. And it's got the same, the rose like in the salts and the sandalwood, but it doesn't say it has the hibiscus. So that's the difference. And then it has benzene. So, and then it's an almond oil base. Yeah, I love her oils. So I'm happy to have more. I just finished her last one from Astara. It was uh, so amazing. It was a body oil. I just finished it. Now we have the dried rose that she gave. She says, as some magical properties are love, psychic powers, luck, love, divination, protection. Roses are also linked to female intuition, dream work, avoiding conflict, beauty, confidence, truth, and passion. Due to their high vibrational energy, rose petals are associated, or I'm sorry, are considered powerful aids in manifestation rituals. Their energy can help attract desires into one's life. Sprinkle around your candle or your statue as an offering to the goddess or around the house to create a tranquil, peaceful home environment. Do not consume dried hibiscus. Magical properties of harmony, joy, love, independence, passion, and divination. Sprinkle around your candle or your statue as an offering to the goddess. Carry the dried hibiscus flowers in the sachet to bring on passion, love, hibiscus flowers, aid divination when placed in a wooden bowl containing water and amplifying scrying abilities. Oh, that's cool. I did not know that. Then we have the statue. And then it says, place this Freya statue in the center of your altar. This statue is made out of poly resin to resemble wood. Okay, yeah, it's definitely looks like wood, right? But I didn't know what it was because it's pretty heavy. And then it says that it is six inches tall. She is depicted with her iconic attributes such as cats and her cloak of falcon feathers. So she's got the cats. feathers. Very nice. And then it says light the Freya soy candle. This candle has, was hand poured to set intentions of self-love. Man, it's getting cold outside. Yeah, set the intentions of love, independence, and strength. Organic soy was infused with notes of grapefruit, cherry tobacco, ginger, and amber accords. So that's what I smelled. Hmm. Yeah, the I just was right away. I think it's the soy. The, the soy wax smells sweeter. You know what I mean? Like soy just has a different smell, like soy wax. <clears throat> and it made it smell more florey to me, but like has really no floral because it just says grapefruit, cherry tobacco, ginger, and amber quartz. So yeah, it was deceiving and it's pink magic. <laughs> um, then we have some info on how to care for your candle. Talks about cutting the wick to a quarter of an inch before lighting. And it says the candles contain all four elements, air, oxygen feeds and fans the candle flame, earth, solid wax forms the body of the candle Water, melting wax, represents the fluid elemental state, and fire, the flame sparks and blazes. So that's really neat. I actually never thought of a candle like that 
that it's all four elements. Botanical offering, it says this, these bundles were created with natural dried grasses and botanicals and contain fern. This is what I'm talking about in the back. So this, I'm guessing she made, and there were naturally dried grasses, botanicals that contain fern, baby's breath, and bunny tails, among others. Place in front of the statue as an offering to Freya, or use as seasonal decor on your altar. Yeah, I think I will. little piece right here that kind of got messed up in the box but hopefully it'll serve as a good offering and then she talks about when you are ready ground yourself by releasing any excess energy by letting it soak into the earth beneath you you may also wish to ground yourself with some food and drink enjoy a bite of chocolate with the dark chocolate heart by cult chocolate that's cool i think i will save i will save and share with my love on valentine's day but i don't know if there's enough to share <laughs> we'll just wait and see how that goes and then we have the Freya artwork, this beauteous design by Christy for this month's box. It can be placed on your altar or added to your Book of Shadows journal for future reference, always reserved. It says artwork and written work may not be duplicated, sold or redistributed in any way. And then we have the hibiscus art print. And that was also designed, actually no, it was designed by the talented Kari at Style 24 Designs. It can be placed on your altar or added to your book of shadows slash journal for future reference. All rights reserved. Artwork and is written work it may not be duplicated sold or distributed in any way and then the intuitively drawn ins inspiration card it says search for flower petal inspiration cards on sugarmuses.com for more info on the deck this card was drawn from take a moment to reflect on the significance this card has to you and of any insight it may bring cool i'm gonna go on her site and check out what this means. This is further, if there's any more info on it, I'll just go check it out. And it says, in honor of Freya and her magical cats, a portion of this month's proceeds will be donated to One by One Cat Rescue, a local shelter here in Eastern Pennsylvania. Oh, that's so cool, I love that. Give back to the kitties. Thank you for your help. It is much needed and appreciated. Well, it makes me feel better that I helped. We all help, you know, if you got this box, you help support the shelter. So one by one cat rescue got some donations. That's wonderful. We hope you enjoy the February Sugar Muses box. Thank you for supporting our small two woman shop. We are forever grateful if you have any questions or concerns, please don't hesitate to email support at sugarmuses.com. May you find the answers you seek during your rituals be successful in all of your castings. And may the magic of February fill your month and many blessings and insights. With love and magic, Christy and Dina. That was a great box. Woo! I'm so happy. I love all the energy coming from it. I love the statue. I love the artwork, I love the candle, I love the oil, I love the salts, I love the stickers, the heart, candle, the stone, the botanical, the chocolate. <laughs> I love everything. 
and I think it's a beautiful cohesive collection for Freya and the energies of February. Um, if you guys got this box, let me know what's your favorite. Where are you going to put Freya? Um, do you have a spot in mind? I am, I'm kind of redoing my altars right now and I'm sitting here looking at a possible open spot for her. I'm going to kind of let her tell me where she wants to go. And I'm really excited to work with the energy. Um, I haven't worked with Freya too much, but this is maybe a sign that I need to. So let me know what you guys thought of this month's box. And I hope you're all doing well. Thanks for joining me and I will see you all soon. Bye for now.